I was almost engaged. Keep saying that you might find the right girl. Welcome back to Recap IT. Today we are going to recap a 2016 romantic drama movie titled Below Her Mouth. An unexpected affair quickly escalates into a heart-stopping reality for two women whose passionate connection changes their lives forever. But before we begin, please consider subscribing to this channel. Now without wasting any further time, let's begin shall we? Our story begins with a woman named Dallas, who works in construction. She gets into an argument with her girlfriend, Jocelyn, over her lack of interest in sex. Dallas then suggests that Jocelyn let her move out of her apartment and goes to work while irritated. A few hours later, while Dallas is at work, she meets Jasmine, who has recently moved in with her fiancé, Ryle. Although she is intrigued by her, she does not initiate a conversation. Meanwhile, Jasmine and Ryle are feuding because they are no longer compatible. Later that night, Dallas invites her friend Quinn to her apartment so she can vent about Jocelyn. She apparently tells her that she broke up with her girlfriend because she no longer feels the connection. Ryle, on the other hand, leaves Jasmine alone at home because he needs to fly out of state for work. Despite her request that he call her when he arrives at the hotel, he responds that he will not be awake that late. After a while, Dallas receives a call from Jocelyn informing her that she has packed the rest of her belongings. Dallas tells her bluntly that she doesn't care about her stuff and that she shouldn't call her again because she wants to cut her off. Then Dallas drags Quinn to a bar to hook up with hot girls. Jasmine and her friend Claire walk into the same bar at the same time. Quinn assists Claire with her order after she is ignored by the bartender, Desiree. Jasmine enters the bathroom and runs into Dallas, whom she recognizes from their previous encounter. Dallas immediately starts flirting with her. She does, however, inform her that she has a friend waiting for her outside. Despite her attempts to ask her out, she does not respond directly. As a result, Jasmine departs to find Claire, only to discover Claire dancing with Quinn, leaving her alone with Dallas. They obviously get to know each other better, and she finds out she's engaged. Nonetheless, Dallas continues to pursue her, resulting in them kissing. Sadly, she pushes her away so she can leave. While walking home with Claire, she tells her what happened and promises that it will not happen again. Jasmine receives a call from Ryle at home, just as she considers telling him the truth. She does, however, end up telling him that she wants to marry him as soon as he returns. Dallas, on the other hand, wakes up the next morning to find Desiree in her bed. She leaves her a couple of dollar bills because she is running late for work. Desiree stands there speechless as she walks away. Jasmine is still fantasizing about Dallas a long time later. She notices her working on the other side of the street, as if on cue. As a result, she decides to masturbate in the tub while thinking about her. Nonetheless, she gets dressed and goes to work as if nothing has happened. She apparently runs into Dallas, who is still pursuing her. She then asks if she can ask her out again because she's almost finished working on her street and won't be able to see her again, and Jasmine thinks about her offer for a moment. Jasmine returns home a few hours later, a little earlier than usual, so she can catch Dallas before she leaves. Fortunately, she locates Dallas and informs her that she has accepted her offer. Jasmine and Dallas get dressed up at night to go out for a few drinks. Dallas discovers that Jasmine works as a fashion editor when they arrive at the bar. She's rubbing her leg under the table while they're talking. Then Jasmine tells her that if it hadn't been for her fiancé, she would have gone to New York, and Dallas responds that she would have gone with her. Dallas invites her to her home with confidence. Jasmine, on the other hand, flees the bar because as a result, they spend the entire night having fun. However, when Jasmine wakes up in the morning, she discovers that Dallas has left while she was sleeping. Unfortunately, she receives a call from Ryle, who inquires as to whether she contacted the wedding planner. Dallas then comes in with breakfast, and they talk for a few hours about their childhood. As a result, they are becoming closer. Dallas takes Jasmine on a cruise a few hours later, during which she learns more about her relationship with her family. She then learns that Dallas has decided to follow in her father's footsteps and work in the construction industry. Jasmine tells Dallas about the first time she kissed a girl when she was a teenager as they walk home. When her mother found out, they were separated. As a result, she had to force her to hang out with men to ensure she wasn't a lesbian. Dallas, on the other hand, discovered she was a lesbian when she was younger. Dallas and Jasmine then go on a carousel ride, holding each other tight. The next day, Dallas wakes up with Jasmine next to her, and they continue to make love as they did the night before. Dallas, to her surprise, enjoys it more than she did with Jocelyn. When they're finished, Jasmine invites her to stay with her. 
As a result, she spends the entire night cuddling with her and discussing their relationship. Jasmine takes Dallas to the front yard of her house at night to tell her which tree she prefers. However, when Dallas informs her that it must be cut down, Jasmine slaps her on the cheek. Dallas, irritated, tells her not to do it again. Despite the fact that she is joking, she appears to be turned on by it. So she tells Jasmine to do it again or she'll slap her. When Jasmine's hesitation is visible, she does as she says. Jasmine slaps her, which leads to them kissing before Dallas leaves. Unfortunately, Ryle is returning from his business trip, which means Jasmine will not be able to see her again. Dallas, crushed, tries to persuade her that they can keep seeing each other, but Jasmine has made up her mind. Ryle calls Jasmine to let her know he's arrived, but the call goes straight to voicemail. He then informs her that he will be arriving home early, while Jasmine and Dallas are having an affair in Dallas' car. She takes Dallas into her house, oblivious to her fiancé's call, so they can have sex for the last time. Dallas then tries to get Jasmine to sleep on her bed, but she refuses because her fiancé sleeps here. She obviously takes her into the bathroom and holds her. Dallas, who is hurt, says she wants to see her again, but Jasmine refuses. Unfortunately, Ryle catches them red-handed in the middle of the act. Ryle, stunned, walks away without saying anything, and Jasmine follows him. Ryle is shocked by Jasmine's betrayal, especially since she just wanted to marry a couple of days ago. Confounded, he realizes that she is no longer interested in men, and despite her efforts to repair their relationship, he tells her that there is nothing to repair. He does, however, tell her that if she breaks up with Dallas, he will forgive her. As a result, he delivers her to Dallas' apartment. Dallas is waiting for her when she walks in. Nonetheless, she informs her that she was forced to select Ryle. Dallas, who understands, tells her that it's her fault for pursuing her while she's engaged. Jasmine kisses Dallas goodbye, heartbroken, because she must choose the man who will secure her future. When Jasmine gets into Ryle's car, she only asks that he drop her off at work. Dallas's agitation is visible in her work a few hours later. Despite her friend's efforts to persuade her to speak up, she remains silent. She thinks about her decisions at night, regretting what she did. Jasmine, on the other hand, is still attempting to persuade Ryle to forgive her. However, he only wonders why she was never sexual with him. Despite this, he does not respond to any of her seduction techniques. Dallas goes to a party with Quinn a few hours later, where she tells her friend about what happened between her and Jasmine. She then declares her love for Jasmine, to which Quinn responds that she is straight. Dallas is fed up and decides to go to a strip club to forget about her heartbreak. She doesn't feel anything while watching the random woman strip, all she can think about is Jasmine. However, when the woman attempts to initiate sex with her, Dallas is ejected by the bouncer for failing to pay for the service. Dallas eventually goes to Josiln's house because she is drunk. Jasmine and Ryle are still feeling the effects of her actions in the morning. Meanwhile, Dallas awakens in Jocelyn's bed, perplexed, wondering how she got here in the first place. Jocelyn, on the other hand, is unaware of this. After breaking off her engagement with Ryle, Dallas and Jasmine go on a date a few weeks later. When Jasmine sits down next to her, she happily informs Dallas that she has told her co-workers about her and her sexual orientation, as she no longer feels the need to hide. Dallas beams at her, proud. And so the film concludes. And this is where the movie comes to an end. I hope you enjoyed it, as always until next time.